Hi everybody, I'm Joey and I'm here today to share some masculine cards with you. If you are a card maker if, and you're like me, you might often run out of masculine cards. So I thought we would do some catching up today. We're going to make four cards. These are all part of my class to go this week with the trusty tools bundle. And you can get this kit for free with an order using my host code. But let's get on with it because there are some tips and tricks I have to share with you from this bundle. There are a lot of dies and there are a lot of stamps and I'm hoping to take the mystery out of them for you if there is mystery for you but I think some of them might take a second look to figure out how does this go together or how do I use these to make my card. So say hi when you come on let me know where you're from. Um, I'm going to click a couple buttons here to get you to see my workspace right side up so i'm going to go upside down and then you're going to go right side up to see my workspace it takes a few moments for the um the camera on facebook to catch up so i see i i can have my ipad here so i can see what you're seeing and it looks like we actually just need to move the whole stand for a minute so just take me a few seconds to get this Oops, to get, what am I doing here? <laughs> All my lights are going wacky. <laughs> okay, let me just move this down here a little bit. It's easier to use my, lose, to move my phone stand than it is actually to move my workspace. So here we go with that a little bit. Getting back in here. <laughs> okay, thanks for bearing with me through that. I know it takes a few minutes to just get everything queued up so that I can see what you're seeing and I'm right now I'm doing the same thing on my laptop because that's where I see your comments so I need to just pull you up there oh okay let's see we can even go back a bit this way so if you're on YouTube watching um you can fast forward through this part all right, hi Diane. Oh, she's got a sunny day in South Dakota and Jackie's on with us. Lovely, good. All right, my friends are finding me. Um, if you are watching on Facebook and you haven't yet liked or followed my page, I would invite you to do that so you don't miss any further videos. And that was the wrong way to move my phone. It always takes me like about five minutes to kind of get everything squared up. If you're watching on YouTube and you enjoy the video today, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up and to follow me on YouTube as well. Click that notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. All right, my friends, we're going to get to it. We're going to use this stamp set today called uh, Trusty Tools. I just have this marked with the bundle price because when I do my buy one, get one free sales, then I have them already marked. But this is not retiring. What is retiring is the bundle. So if you are purchasing here, let me get this squared up here. If you purchase this now, you get it for this price. If you per because this is 10% off. If you wait till May 1st and buy it, then it will still be available, but it will be 10% more. These are the dies we're using, plus these. Now, I'm not using any of these today on our project, but as you can see, I'm using most of the dies, and I think I might use this one as well. I have an idea for that so that you can get a good idea of how these work together because you can see there's just a lot of bits and pieces. There's a lot of stamps. There's two-step stamping on this one. This is the filler for the paintbrush. This is the filler for the wrench. This is the filler for the uh, hammer. This is the filler for the measuring tape. And then that's the filler for the pencil. So hopefully you could see that. Um, there's a glare. I know. I'm sorry. It's, I like to use my glass mat, so there's a little bit of glare from the lights, but, um, I think it'll be okay once we just get going with this. All right, let's go with this. Um, who needs masculine cards? Anybody need masculine cards? Um, I find that I run out of masculine cards fairly quickly so we're going to catch up today with some ideas for masculine cards now 
the DSP I'm using today, which I'll get to in a moment, this is actually a piece of basic white cardstock thick, and I cut it five and a five and a half by eight and a half, and I scored it at four and a quarter. I'm using my bone folder to crease it. Um, I use my bone folder all the time to make sure my creases are really sharp and clean. It's a great tool to have in your stash if you don't have one. I suggest you add it to your list. They're not expensive and they're just really great to have on hand. Okay, let us um, let me figure out our stamping here first and then we will get our card put together. I have some things already die cut. I see that I did forget one thing. Let me grab some cool party cardstock. It's something I forgot to grab and we don't need this big a piece but we'll just cut it real quick so by the way if you're watching on youtube this is a recording of a facebook live so there will be chatting um i enjoy my uh, my viewers that come on a visit and we have built friendships and relationships that way and so we're going to chit chat and if you're open to that i would love for you to stay and stamp with us i'm going to move this little sign up just a little bit get it more out of the workspace this is a host code for this week this goes through sunday and if you use that host code when you order this week you will get my this class for free all the kits for these cards for free. So let's go ahead and do a little die cutting first. We've got that. And then one thing I wanted to make sure I drew your attention to today is this set of dies. This is called the basic border dies. I have used these so much and they are retiring and they are half price they were well i don't know if it's half price they were 29 dollars, and now they're 17 dollars and like 40 cents but i've used these these are edge look dies and they i have used this for so many things cloud backgrounds um stencils for clouds anyway we're going to use this one today this is probably the one i have used the most is this zigzag and i think it's really nice for um for masculine cards. I, I will go ahead and give you the number for this in case you don't have it. One, five, five, five. Okay, there's four fives. One, five, 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 eight. And that's the basic border dies. This is the retail price, but it's 17, there's $17 uh, through this month. They're retiring, but you don't want to wait. If you want them, you want to get them right away because they might not last. Let me go ahead and grab my die cutting machine. I think this is all we need to die cut on this card. Um, who makes masculine cards out there that are watching? Do most of you make masculine cards or do most of you make mostly feminine cards? I know I send a lot more cards to my female friends than I do my masculine, my male, male friend, not masculine friends, my male friends. If I'm not thinking about what I'm talking about, my tongue goes haywire from my brain. <laughs> so you'll have to bear with me. Uh, last night was my team meeting. And even though we don't go late, um, it's a long day for me and then I'm kind of wound up so then I don't get to bed and then um, the next day it takes my brain a while to wake up <laughs> all right in your card kit for this card I will have this die cutting done for you because um, you don't have this in your bundle everything that I'm using the for the tools, the trusty tools bundle. Um, that won't be die cut for you, but everything else will be die cut for you. So this circle, this little zigzag DSP, that'll be cut for you as well. Let me go ahead and get that put away. 
and we'll just go ahead and keep going with our card. I think that's all I needed. I hope that's all I needed to die cut. There is a lot of die cutting on this card, but I did quite a bit of it ahead of time just to save time. Um, in your kit for this card, you'll get, so these two will come with the kit and your card base that we've already gotten out. Um, this is the DSP that you'll get as well. And this is the trusty tools. Oh my gosh, what's it called? The, it was a celebration product. It's called the trusty toolbox designer series paper. And you can't get this right now, but I am going to send everybody that gets a card kit. I have several packs of this and I'm going to cut it in six by six pieces and send everybody every one of the patterns that's in this, um, that's in that DSP in case you don't have it. Or even if you do have it, you might want a little bit more of it anyway. So that's my extra gift this week. If your order is $50 or more, you're also going to get a pack of embellishments from me. And I, those vary depending on what I've used on the cards and what I have on hand. I'm going to go ahead and this is, this paper is three and a fourth by five and a fourth. And this holographic paper is three fourths by five and a fourth. And I just want the, here, I think this might be easier to do like, so I don't think I made a change there, did I? I was just trying to get my fingers out of the way. I just want the very edge of this to show so we just have this little bit of glimmer. This paper is from the holographic paper. It's in the annual catalog. It is retiring. Um, it, it is called the holographic trio of paper and you get three different patterns here. You get this one that we're using today for some of the tools and this little bit darker one and then you get kind of a a silver one. It's also kind of holographic too. These, these are in the annual catalog. It's one pack of paper. Okay, now it looks like I've lost my trusty tools designer paper. <laughs> Here it is. It was stuck on the back of my holographic paper. Okay, so you'll also get all of this in an envelope so that it's all organized for you in your kit. And then all you have to do is follow along on a PDF that is also free with an order. So you get all the directions and the PDF. The PDF has all the directions and all the supplies that I'm using. I just I want this kind of well, let's do it this way. Let's go ahead and put this down on our card. And then that will help me get the placement for the other one. I'm using, this is our stamp and seal adhesive runner. And I'm using that. That's generally the adhesive I use on my cards. Um, it's, a, it's a good, strong adhesive. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of watching this border here to make sure I'm pretty even there from the top to the bottom. And then now we'll put, did I put adhesive all the way around? I don't think I put it all the way around on this. And then this one I'm going to line up just, whoops, this way. I want to just have an even border for on the top and then the bottom. So I'm looking at the corners basically to make sure they're even. And it's maybe about an eighth of an inch like so there we go so there's that then we're gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and put this pool party circle down the stylish shapes dies are not retiring so we don't need to worry about that i i'm very happy about that because i use them all the time there are circles there are squares and then there are flag labels with that set of dies. We're going to use the those for another card and I'll point that out when we get there. So here's this. Now, what we're going to do with our, we're going to make our drill 
and I have a lot of bits and pieces I've already die cut. So uh, I have, and what you'll get in your kit for this is you'll get a piece of strawberry or sweet sorbet paper cardstock and a piece of the poppy parade cardstock in your kit. And then you'll also get some holographic paper. These dies are in the bundle, so I won't have those die cut for you, but I'll have everything for you to do the die cutting. And this one I thought, let's just, um, let's trick out this drill. My husband, I've been watching too many of my husband's car videos where they, <laughs> where they're tricking out their cars. We're going to trick out our drill. Okay, so this has these parts that are not only die cut, but they're embossed. Can you see that? So it gives a lot of detail. But actually, I'm going to just gently cut this out because I want a little more contrast on our drill. So I'm going to take this and I'm missing a little circle. Um, and this is probably not going to show up a lot, but there is a difference between the Sweet Sorbet and the Poppy Parade. Now the Sweet Sorbet is retiring. It's one of the retiring color in colors. They've been so popular, all five of them, and it's sad to see them go, but they are going. So if you need ink refills or um, extra cardstock, or if you haven't bought these colors yet, um, I would suggest that you get them. Okay, my friends, let me dump out my little envelope here. I thought I had die cut. Yep, there it is. Okay, so in these dies, these are, some of the things I wanted to show you. So there's this little die. I'm not really 100% sure what these are actually for. So that's not helpful, is it? Um, this, this little piece, I think, goes with these, this kind of clipper type tool. Can you see I don't really know my tools? And it goes, that little tiny piece goes on the end to hold the scissors together. I did make one of these yesterday so I could show you, but I'm not seeing it here on my desk. So you'll have to take my word for it. Okay, so I'm just taking this little circle. I don't know if that's where it actually goes, but we're gonna go ahead and put a little dimension on our drill. So this is the Poppy Parade as well. So again, I'm not sure how you're gonna see that, how well you'll see that on video, but there's some contrast there and then we don't need this Poppy Parade part of our drill, but we're gonna use that holographic paper to make the drill bit be shiny. I don't know, I think that's called a drill bit. <laughs> Those of you that are actual actually know what you're doing with tools you can probably correct me <laughs> you can put it in the comments if i'm not using the right terminology which i very well might not i'm not handy my husband is not handy we usually end up hiring someone to do these types of things so there you can see how the holographic paper just gives a little bit of zing to this card. And I thought, you know, you can have masculine cards and still have them be shiny and have some sparkle. I don't know if I call it sparkle sparkle, but it's kind of sparkle. Let's see, let's put this one here. So I'm putting the dimensionals all around my drill to try to give it um, some even depth when I put it on my circle so that it for mailing it stays pretty evenly distributed and it doesn't get smashed at any place. I'm going to take actually a mini dimensional. If you need smaller dimensionals for smaller places we also have these mini dimensionals. They're also in the annual catalog. Okay so I think we're ready with that. I'm going to go ahead and put that on our circle here there we go like so and i kind of feel like there's a little i should have put a dimensional there so i'm gonna actually try <laughs> i'm gonna see how this works i'm gonna try and 
sneak one in. If you pull gently, uh, maybe not. It's it's down pretty good, so I don't want to mess it up. So we're just going to call that good. But if you're making this card, if you're reproducing it, then I would suggest you go ahead and put a, put a dimensional right there as well. Although I think our little sign, our greeting is going to go across it. So that might make up the difference for it and it'll be okay. This is going to be a thank you card. Um, this stamp set does have a Father's Day greeting in it if you need it. I, and we will make one Father's Day card with it today, but I am mainly making all occasion cards with it. I need to grab my Smoky Slate. I'm not sure if I use Smoky Slate or, um, I might have used basic gray, but I've got this out, so we're just going to go ahead and ink it up. And then in your kit, you also get any scrap paper that I used. I'm not sure if this is going to be dark enough, my friends. Yeah, I guess so. It looks good. I think I might use basic gray in my sample. And I can't see your comments. If you're commenting and you're like, well, Joey isn't talking to me. Hi, Debbie and Diane, you make both men's and women's cards. Yeah, probably most of us do. I just tend to make a lot more feminine cards than I do masculine. So I'm often scrambling for cards for the men in my life, unless I've planned ahead and made a few extra. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna fussy cut this. Now, I know a lot of you have told me that you are not a big fan of fussy cutting, but it doesn't have to be hard and it can actually be something that adds a lot to your cards. And then if you're cutting out something like this as image, then it your greeting isn't gonna cover up as much of your images on your card but see what i'm doing i'm just kind of following the cur curves of these letters although not not really super close or super careful because i'm not a big fussy cutter as well but this i thought looked nice with the greeting cut out so I'm going to go ahead and cut around those letters. I'm sorry if I'm getting out of the view where you can't really see. I'm moving the paper as well rather than the scissors. So you can see what I'm doing here. So see, that's easy. You can do that. Don't worry about it being perfect. None of, none of our cards that are handmade are perfect. And we're just going to put this across like this. So what I actually am going to do is I'm going to put a mini glue dot, sorry, mini Stampin' Dimensional right there. Actually, I think I'll use my minis all the way across here. Um, my brother is a carpenter. He worked as a carpenter for quite a while in his early adult years. And then he, and he put himself through school um, for computer, computer science while working as a carpenter mostly. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing, Joe? Okay, this one needs to be straight, everybody. I'm not thinking. I'm lining up my card here so we can actually get this greeting going straight. I didn't want that curvy. There we go. That's better. All right, then I'm going to grab, um, my in color twine this is a 2022 through 2024 baker's twine pack this is the sweet sorbet again uh this is also on sale i think this is 30 percent off 30 or 40 percent off i love this twine i like all the in colors and i love whoops not getting that cut that done very well and i like all these colors my twine is kind of a hot mess but you can see how pretty all these colors are together. 
Now, tying a bow, let's, let me show you how I do it. So I'm just gonna make a loop and hold it with my thumb and forefinger. I'm gonna loop around like this, and then see this right here that makes a loop, and I'm gonna bring this around and put this, let me get closer, through that loop, and then pull like this so that those strands stay flat. See what I did there? And then hopefully it won't twist. As I was pulling this I, to make a bigger loop, I think it twisted. So showing you, I tried to make the loops big to show you and then I couldn't keep it flat, it twisted. So let me do it like I normally do it and then I think it won't twist. So I'm holding this one like that and pulling through. So that time it didn't twist. There we go. But that's the idea. And I know um, some of you are not crazy about tying bows and you don't have to tie bows. In fact, you don't even need ribbon or twine on your cards, either one. Um, but if you want to tie bows, the best way I can say is just keep practicing. You know, um, bow tying was something I didn't do for a very long time. I mainly just put knots on my cards if I wanted twine or ribbon. Now we're just gonna stick that on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab one of my favorite embellishments and they're retiring. They're the festive pearls. And I'll tell you one of the reasons I especially like these pearls because there's a red. We don't really have any other embellishment that has a color of red. And this color of red is pearlescent, so it goes with a lot of our colors of red. This is Poppy Parade, obviously. I'm gonna go ahead and take these. Oh, I should be using my Take Your Pick tool, uh, which I do usually use. I have my old piercing tool because sometimes I just grab for that. Um, just out of habit, basically. We'll put our little pearls here. But I also like, they call this green. I don't remember what color of green they call it, but it's almost kind of a pool party. And then a silver, a silver silver, which I don't have too many left on there, and then a gold. So these are also on sale and they're called Festive Pearls. Okay, there's card number one. I haven't seen your comments, so I'm gonna just click on my laptop here quick. Um, yeah, I have spring fever today, Diane, or you have spring fever today. <laughs> I have had spring fever, actually, so that's not too far from the truth. Hi, Maggie. Oh, it's good to see you, and Debbie's on. Yay, okay. More people are finding me today. That's awesome. All right, so there's card number one. Even if you don't have carpenters in your life, you can use the stamp set. It's very fun because of all the dies and the stamps. So, um, you know, it makes masculine cards. So I'll be sending some of these to men in my life that aren't necessarily carpenters, but it has a masculine theme. So that is kind of what we're catching up on today, our masculine cards, period. But if you do have carpenters, carpenters in your family or handy people, um, you could even send this to a girl. If you have friends that are handy girls, those are good too. They might enjoy a card because there are a lot of um, women that are also good with tools and they're, they are handy people. I just don't happen to be one of them. All right, my friends, we're gonna do the second card. So this card is the same size as this one. It's five and a half by eight and a half, but this one I scored at two and one eighth. Let me go ahead and crease this down from one side and then it's also two and one eighth from the other side. And then that makes this kind of a gatefold, although this is not gonna be a gatefold card, traditional gatefold card. Let's go ahead and put that away. We'll bring it back out at the end. So in your kit for this card, you'll get this piece of crushed curry cardstock. It will already be scored for you. You'll get a piece of the designer series paper. You'll get a mat of the basic black like this. All this comes in your kit. 
then let's see what else we've got here you will get a piece of crumb cake i've already die cut this it won't be die cut for you because this die is part of the set so you'll need to die cut it but i will give you everything you need to do all the die cutting in it so this makes a pegboard well that will be in your kit you'll also get a piece of poppy parade cardstock i have already die cut the tool chest so this is the tool chest bottom and then this is the tool chest top that um, you'll make your tool chest out of if you make your card like mine now the other thing is if you don't have this stamp set um you can easily you'll get all the bits and pieces to make whatever you want to make out of your supplies that come in your kit so now i'm going to this is these are crossed hammers i don't know if you can see that design very well but i'm going to just put this on my basic black and i'm looking at the corners here primarily to make sure they're about equal distance top bottom and side and then before I actually smash this down, I'm going to smash it down. That's a, that's a stamping turn. I'm going to actually look around and make sure I'm straight on all the corners. Then I think we're gonna go ahead and assemble parts of our card before we put it on our base. So I'm gonna move our base out of the way for just a moment and then we're gonna do some assembling. I'm gonna go ahead and put this little pegboard on with some Tombow glue. This is liquid glue. Uh, some of us have a love and hate relationship with Tombow glue because it can get messy pretty fast. Okay, come on. This one might be empty. We've been doing a lot. My helpers and I have been making a lot of swap cards. Let's try another thing of glue. We've been going through a lot of adhesive. Hopefully there's some in this one. Well, for Pete's sakes, come on. Oh, then, you know, of course that happens when, you, when you're squeezing, which I was squeezing harder than normal. I'm gonna just grab a piece of scrap paper. <laughs> I don't have a handy wipe here and just kind of wipe this on a piece of paper. And then if this happens to you, just take that blob and just push it down on your paper to get rid of some of it. This is just a piece of typing paper I have here. Let's just leave this down just in case I have another blob. I don't think I will now because I think it's opened up. Oh, you guys, you know what? I think I'm out of two Tombow glue glues. Well, there we go a little bit. Um, I checked my stamp and seal to make sure I wasn't running low in my um, container for that. And I didn't check Tombow because we were using it yesterday making cards, <laughs> but I should have, looks like I should have checked it. Okay, so we're just gonna just pretend like we didn't have a major glue accident. And we're gonna go ahead and put this kind of towards the top of our card because the toolbox is gonna go towards the bottom. So again, I'm kind of looking right to left and trying to make sure I have equal distance. And then along the top, I'm tr also trying to make sure that that's pretty straight. There is a pattern on the, the hammers are a straight row across, so they're kind of helpful. So there we go with that guy. Okay, now we are gonna do a little bit of stamping. Let's set this aside. We're gonna, whoops, we're just, we're gonna, do some stamping, I can't talk today. You know, there are days when I have my Facebook Live on Wednesday after a team meeting where I think I should not plan a Facebook Live <laughs> the day after my team meeting. My brain just doesn't work as well. Although, you know, if you've watched me very much, you might be thinking, well, Joey, I don't know that that's all that different from what's normal for your Facebook Live, and that would be close to the truth. I'm now stamping in Memento Black our little tape measure, and then I'm going to clean my stamp on my um, my little cleaning mat here. These are in the catalog. These are called chamois, Stampin', Stampin' Chamois, I think. 
Um, it looks like I have never cleaned it, but it's clean. I rinsed it out. It just absorbs ink really well. That's why it's black like that. Oh, we, we still need this and we need to, cause we're gonna do a hammer. But anyway, thanks to those of you that stick with me through my kind of incoherent Facebook lives. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. I got up early to get ready. I have my desk already ready. Um, but I was working on the tutorial for this class. So the other thing you get when you put in a $40 order is you get the tutorials with, there's photos, there's a close-up photo. This is what it looks like. I don't have this one finished yet, but then detailed directions and then a list of supplies so you can tell what I'm using in case you want to recreate it or just figure out for your other projects what you might want to use. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do this little tape measure. This guy has an inside. I'm looking for the inside of this. Okay, so this has a filler stamp that goes here, and then we're gonna get a couple of markers out. I'm gonna grab these two markers. Okay, now we're gonna grab Poppy Parade ink. Our toolbox cardstock is Poppy Parade. So again, just remember when you get your card kit, your supplies, you also get scrap paper. So I also always have all the scrap paper you need and plus extra so that you don't even have to use your own paper to, for your project okay so this takes me a moment sometimes to get this lined up i'm kind of looking through that circle this doesn't this isn't ink the best with photopolymer you can kind of look through it and make sure you've got everything inked well and again i'm kind of looking for that circle in the bottom of my little tape measure and it then i have found this doesn't exactly fit you might be saying well you're kind of just saying that because you missed it well no, not entirely. I did miss it a little bit. I could have done it a little better, but um, it, it isn't a perfect match. So anyway, we're going to go with that. <laughs> and I am going to take my markers and we're going to color a little bit on this one. We're going to color this inside with Smoky Slate just to give it a little bit more dimension. And then this little silver part right on the end. And then this little silver part right here. That's the lock. That could be black, probably. And then actually, I didn't grab my Poppy Parade markers, but I'm going to grab them quick. And, oh, I got lucky and grabbed the right ones right away. And I'm gonna fill, actually fill in this part. Now we're gonna do this tape measure on another card as well. And I'm not gonna do the filling in, but on this one, and since, since we've got the markers out, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in. There we go. Okay, and then the tape measure I made yellow. So this is Daffodil Delight, so I'm gonna go ahead and color that in to get some color on our card. Then for the hammer, um, I think I did cut out a hammer. Yes, I did. So I went it, whoops, that's not a hammer. This is the hammer. Um, all I did was just die cut it. I didn't stamp it, obviously it's in black. So, but I did it to get the bottom of the hammer shape. So before we do that though, we'll go ahead and cut out, we'll die cut these. We're doing a little die cutting today, just not a ton of die cutting. For this, oh, I was, I already die cut this out of the holographic paper, but you'll get a piece of scrap paper. You'll get black scrap paper, gray and holographic paper and white. So you have all the paper you need to make the card as I'm making it. And again, uh, your card kits come in individual envelopes. I have um, little sticky notes on mine for Facebook Live. Yours won't have that, of course, but you get the idea. So let's go ahead and get out our dies for this card. 
I'm going to grab my Daikin machine back. I was watching a very polished video this morning by a very successful Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and she does videos as opposed to Facebook Live. Um, and so everything's really smooth, because of course, you know, then you can stop and redo something, or um, you know, stop between projects so there isn't any waste of time. But honestly, I probably believe it would take me probably forever to do a video like that because I would have to stop and redo things probably. Anyway, she did such a nice job of it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this with our dies. I am using post-it tape. I just buy it on Amazon. It And it helps your dies not move. It sticks them down. Actually, it's a great help. Am I in the camera? Let's check that. Okay, so there we go. It looks like this. Post-it labeling cover-up tape, one inch. So, and I think mine came in a pack of two. I'm not 100% sure, but that's where I get mine. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut out, there's this cute little die of nuts and bolts. So we're gonna cut those out too. I'm gonna grab the die cutting machine. And then if you just drop down so that you don't move anything and disturb it, just lift up your plate and then just drop it down and then start it through, don't move anything. And then go ahead and die cut and that will help save any movement because even when you have things taped down they can move so i'm going to grab my die back and this one you'll want to remove this a little bit carefully because i'm going to put these things right here where we can find them because this does hold pretty well so it can possibly tear tear your snapped image. And then I peel this off, and right now I'm sticking it on my phone stand in front of me, but usually I stick it on my die cutting machine. So we're just gonna get this off to get our dies off. See, it did tear my paper there, so you definitely don't want to tear your images. So just pull it carefully when you're removing it if you use this. So we've got our stamp hammer, we've got our We've already got our die cut wrench. We've got our nuts and bolts. Okay, now what are we gonna do with this hammer? So this is another thing you can do with these dies just for variety. You can take this hammer handle and just take your paper snips and then just cut this off like so you can keep this for another project if you want to i probably won't but you you could if you're a keeper you might want to keep it and then i'm just going to go ahead and use my adhesive and sometimes you have to push this up so i'm just pushing it up gently with my thumb there we go and get all of our bits ready. I just like this handle with a black hammer. We have a handle that look, I mean, we have a hammer that looks like this with a black handle. So I went ahead and did that. Okay, so we've got all our bits. Let's go ahead now and put our card together. So well, one thing we have to do before we do that, and then we'll put our cards together, we're going to stamp our greeting on the tool chest itself. So the greeting is going to be, you're the most awesome. And we're going to stamp that in memento black. I haven't been watching my comments because I've been so busy stamping, but if I miss your comment, I always come back and um, respond to my comments 
after Facebook Live and after I publish my video, we're going to put you the most awesome right on our tool chest in Memento Black kind of down here like so. There we go. Okay, then while we're stamping, we're going to stamp one more thing. Let's do the inside of the card. And your kit will have this already done for you as well. It'll be the inside, so all of these bits and pieces and supplies will be in your card kit for this class. And we're going to grab our inside and then i did use the dad stamp for this you're the most awesome dad because i'm going to send this card to my nephew-in-law let's stamp first in case we muck it up and then it'll be easier to fix it um my nephew-in-law my niece's husband in colorado is a uh, very handy Oh my gosh, he made their dining room table and it looks like it came from Pottery Barn. So this is going to be his Father's Day card. I don't have my dad, but if you have your dad and he's handy, this would be a great idea for him. And I'm going to put this towards the top like so. But he, um, his name is Austin. And he builds all kinds of things for my niece and their family. And he just really does a good job. He's a perfectionist. I don't know if you have people like that in your family, but he definitely is. So there's our basic card like this. Then We've got this all put together. We're going to just take this. Oh, let's do our toolbox first before we finish this. So here's, we've got all these bits. So if you like to putts at all, you're going to like this stamp set. <laughs> these, these dies and these stamps because there's a lot of putting going on. Now, something I like to do when I have, so we're creating this. So what I want to do is I want to get all my tools arranged in my toolbox before I put it down on my card. It's just going to be easier. So what I'm going to do, here's a tip for you, is I'm just going to put adhesive all the way across the back of my toolbox. Then I'm just going to take my tools, let's see, I'm kind of looking at my sample here, and I'm going to, I'm not going to really stick them in too tight yet but just kind of get them in where I want them. I want them to look like they're sticking out of the toolbox. So kind of like so. And then our little tape measure is gonna kind of fill up the rest of this. I want the tape part, well, let's go like, like, I want that tape part to come through the front. So I'm kind of angling up, there you go. Kind of like that. Okay. Now, this is all... Oops, well, that doesn't want to stick. Oh, that's because it's going over my hammer, of course. So let me add a little bit more adhesive here. And then we'll stick this back through like so. There we go. And now I can kind of get that going like that. So then I have filled up my toolbox with all my tools and then we can go ahead and turn it over and get our dimensionals on it. And then get everything kind of uh, secured down with dimensionals. So I'm purposely getting the edges of my tools with my dimensionals and then I want my toolbox to be even again for mailing so I'm going to kind of go around to where there are bare spaces I'm not putting any adhesive on the back of my tool chest because you don't really need it back there and it will be hard to get tiny pieces back there you could if you wanted to and maybe we'll we'll do that is go ahead and put 
um, a dimensional here on the back of our hammer. I see my light, it's kind of in the way here. Did I get it worse or better? Looks like, let's just leave it off. I think it's okay. We'll put a dimensional here. Then I'm gonna gently peel all these off and then we'll go ahead and stick this down like so this is a really cute fun fold and it's really easy i if you've been watching me very much you know i do easy but hopefully i'm also taking out a little bit of the mystery of some of the dies and the stamps and how they work together now we're going to turn this over because we only want adhesive up here so that we don't seal our card shut has anybody ever done that <laughs> sealed your car shut and we're going to just use i'm still going to stick with stamp and seal you could use liquid blue for this for the sake of time on the video i'm going to go ahead and use stamp and seal it's a very tough adhesive so it'll hold it pretty well and i'm just gonna again i'm looking at my corners here first and trying to get even margins around on my corners and then it should line up fairly well and it does with the other corner so now we've got this um now my little bolts nuts and bolts that we made that are shiny i think the holographic paper is so perfect for this we're going to go ahead and see if we can get our tombow glue to cooperate a little bit better first i'm going to kind of dry fit these And again, the holographic paper is retiring. So if you want the, that for some special effects on your cards, you'll want to go ahead and put that on your order. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of Tombow down here. This Tombow must be towards the end because I'm having to push kind of hard and then it all comes out in a glob. Again, if you've used Tombow, you probably have a love-hate relationship too. Or maybe you've gotten past the hate and you are, you love it. So how many of you, tell me in the comments if you use Tombow and if you like it. Or what you use. If you don't use Tombow, what you use for small things like this. Okay, so I'm getting that in there and then... Since I have another little bit of glob of glue, I'm just grabbing some scrap paper and just kind of maneuvering that so I don't have glue, <laughs> big globs of glue sticking out. All right, my friends, we're almost done with this card. So now I'm going to grab my, I'm going to use the strawberry sorbet. I keep calling it strawberry sorbet. I have called it that since it came into the catalog is sweet sweet sorbet not strawberry sorbet <laughs> we used to have a color called strawberry something i don't remember what it was but it reminds me a lot of this color and i can't get it out of my brain but this sweet sorbet again one of the five in colors that's retiring they've been among my very favorite of all the in colors we've ever had these are among my very favorite. Okay, I'm grabbing the mini glue dots. I'm sticking my twine right on them like so. And then I'm squeezing it between my forefinger and thumb. And we're gonna stick this just right at the bottom of our hammer, just for a cute little, a cute little embellishment on our card. And then we're gonna take our our little dots here, well, our pearls, and we're going to, I'm gonna really bling this up. I have to move this over just a touch here. And I don't have silver ones, as many silver ones as I do gold, so we're just gonna put these gold ones. Okay, I know this is blingy for a masculine card, but it's okay. It's a tool chest. So this guy that owns this tool chest is very, 
he takes very good care of his tool chest so the bolts that hold it together are still very shiny. That's my story and I'm sticking with it. So I know these are masculine cards. Some of you are looking at this and going, well, I wouldn't put all that bling on a masculine card. So you do you. And then I'm also gonna put on more. <laughs> if you've watched me before, you know that I don't skip on the bling. Let's put one down here. Okay, I think we've got our card done, my friends. So there is our second masculine card. If you don't have this stamp set, you can easily adapt this cute fun fold. It's really easy. And if you wanted to make this a, um, a gift card holder, you could just secure these two sides and glue it down and stick in your gift card. Uh, that's kind of why I put the dad up there because I might stick a gift card in here. Sometimes we do that for our niece and nephew for special occasions. So there's that one, there's number two. Let's move on to number three. For this one, we're gonna use a new color from this year. This is called Copper Clay. I'm lining up the edges of my cardstock because even when you score cardstock on a tool, you don't always get it exactly perfect. And then just take your bone folder and Crease it in so it so those two ends do meet. I'm gonna check my uh, my comments for those of you that are watching so I don't miss anything. So Diane says we both have spring fever and your tasks are done. Ours are no, oh, ours aren't done, but there we've already met with our accountant, so he has everything and he has to finish up and send them in. It is a good feeling. And hi Kathy, I'm glad you joined two um you know i when i first got this kathy said she needs to work with this stamp set more i agree it's one of the reasons i got it back out today because there are so many stamps and especially dies for this stamp set i thought i really need to use this and Kind of remind everybody that this set's going to be unbundling, so it will cost more as of May 1st when the new annual catalog goes live. So that's one of the reasons I'm using it. Plus, I need some masculine cards. Plus, Father's Day is coming up, so all the above. Um, this is just a piece of white, basic white, four by five and a quarter, just so I have something to write on on the inside. Then for this one, um, when you get your card kit for this, so I'll have this die cut for you already. I'll have this piece of paper cut for you. This is more of the designer series paper. This rectangle is from the deckled rectangle dies. And then again, remember you'll be getting um, a six by six sheet of each of the designer series papers in this this set of papers because you can't buy them anymore. That was, well, you couldn't buy them to begin with because they are, um, they were a celebration paper. Sorry, I'm thinking of what my next step is and I can't talk. All right, we're going to do a little bit more die cutting, but not very much because I haven't done. You'll get a piece of the holographic paper. You'll get some scrap paper. For this card, you'll get a piece for the greeting. Now, I have gone ahead and die cut, stamped and die cut a couple things we're using. Just to save time because I showed you how to do all that on the first card we made. Can't get this picked up. And, but we are gonna do a little bit of die cutting yet. I know I get everything out and then I don't put my card together till I <laughs> get, all the parts ready so we're going to get more parts ready we're going to take a die i did not do this on my first card my sample but we're going to take this die and what i think this is i'm pretty sure that is although i didn't use it yet is um 
the inside of the pencil. So we'll show, we'll see if that's right or not. Then I'm also gonna take the wrench top and I'm also gonna take, this little die is the tape measure, this part of the tape measure. I'll show you once we get that all die cut. So we're gonna die cut those three pieces. Again, I just wanted to showcase a lot of the, how these dies work together with the stamps. Let me get this on my cutting plate here. And then this little piece that we think is the inside of the pencil. We'll see. But I got this set because it we do have carpenters in my family and I need masculine cards often and it had the specialty paper in celebration that matched the tool set so I thought well I can really use this and I bet some of my people my friends who watch every week or at least some weeks might be able to use it too. Okay, so now I've got all these bits cut and I don't wanna lose these, so I'm gonna put them back on my magnetic sheet. Because these are tiny, you know, it'll be easy to misplace them. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready. We're gonna do a little tiny bit of stamping and then we'll have all our bits and pieces. So now for this card, I'm gonna go back to the filler on our, um, our tape measure, and this time we're gonna make it green. And then I'm also going to stamp the filler in on, when I say filler, I mean the two-step stamping on these two, on the wrench and the um, I can't think and talk. The wrench and the tape measure. There, Joey. That wasn't too tough, but apparently it kind of was. All right, I'm looking for, I've got that, and then I'm looking for the piece that, the stamp, and I might not have pulled it out. So let's, let's get out our stamps. Let's see. No, I did. It's that stamp. Okay. So it's here on the block. Let me just take a moment to look. Chat amongst yourselves while I try and find the stamp that goes. Oh my goodness, where could it be? Well, we might end up coloring it, but there is a stamp. There's a two-step stamp that this stamp fills in that bottom of the bottom of the wrench and I can't actually see it right at this moment so we're going to grab the Lost Lagoon blends markers it's here somewhere my friends but I had a lot of stamps out and my team made cards with this oh I found it that was that was where it was my team made cards with this set last night not the same cards but so i had these all out but of course they were all in a different configuration than i use for facebook live okay so now i'm just inking this with lost lagoon and then we're gonna just two-step stamp this normally i would stamp it all before i die cut it but just to save time on facebook live uh, we're going to do it this way for today. And then I use Old Olive. This is a good card for, this would be a good card for my brother because he likes these colors. He is a brown person, which I am not a brown person. That's one of my least favorite colors, but he is a brown person. So I have learned over the years when I buy him gifts shirts shirts or sweatshirts or i usually buy them clothing for christmas 
we have still been giving Christmas gifts to each other. It's just the two of us. But I buy brown for him. I do not buy brown for Steve, my husband. He's not a brown person. There we go. Um, but my brother's name is Jeff. And for Jeff, I buy brown. So this is a good card for him. So I think I've got, I think I've got all my bits and pieces right there. I'm going to take um, this ribbon and put it around. This is the copper clay, I think it's called texture rhythm ribbon. Now here's a tip for using this kind of ribbon. This is kind of bulky to pull all the way around and tie in a bow. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to tie it cut it just a little bit longer than the piece I'm going to wrap it around. And then I'm just going to simply take my adhesive and I'm going to make a place for the ribbon to stick to. And I'm going to put it towards the edge of my little panel right here. See, and I'm just sticking it like this. Now, I, I look at it from the top because for me personally, then I can tell if it's straight or not. So, I don't look at the back. I just kind of wrap it around and then it looks to me like it's pretty good. We don't want to go upside down with our card. And this ribbon is discontinuing. It's an embellishment that's not stained. So, if you like copper clay, and in fact, all this year's, so Copper Clay is a this year uh, in color. Stampin' Up! puts out five new colors every year called in colors. And um, the colors will stay, like the inks and the card socks will stay next year. But sometimes some of the accessories they don't keep. So this ribbon is not going to stay. Now there again, I distributed my dimensionals so that they're even on my card because I want, when it goes through the mail and through those machines, I don't want it to be smashed in in the middle. So I'm keeping it pretty even on my dimensionals underneath. And now again, I'm looking at my corners first and then I'm just trying to keep everything even and like so. So there we have that and then I also went one step further with trim and I pulled out, this is the in color jute trim. That's not supposed to be there. These are this year's in colors. This is also retiring. As I said, the colors will stay. And then I often, when it's curly like that, I often take my thumb and my forefinger and kind of straighten it out. It makes it a little bit easier to tie. And then we're just going to make a knot. I told you in the first card, I think, that I often, when I first started stamping, made knots rather than bows. And I'm holding this with my left hand. I'm putting pressure on my third finger to hold that. Uh, not down and then I'm just gonna pull tightly like so It just has a little bit more texture to the card Like so How about you guys when you make masculine cards? So tell me in the comments. Do you use embellishments on masculine cards? Do you use ribbon and twine or gems on masculine cards? Or do you kind of stay away from that for the gentleman in your life and you just mainly do that for the girl cards? I'm curious to know what you guys do. All right, my friends, I have a lot of scraps that are one half inch by longer length. Some of them are this length, some of them are long. And I keep them in my scrap drawer because I use them a lot for greetings. And this is one card where we are gonna use this for a greeting. So I just pulled it out from my scraps. You'll have that in your card kit as well when it comes to you. And I'm going to, let's see, I'm gonna look at my sample here. <coughs> I'm going to go more closer to the left than the right. And again, I've got my copper clay ink. And then I'm going to take my scissors and 
just, sorry, I hit my light. That might be dinging into your ears. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and just trim this at an angle. This is something I do a lot to give a little bit more finish to a greeting strip. And I'm going to tuck this in kind of like this. Okay, let's get the dimensionals out again. And I'm going to distribute them evenly again. Okay. Now you could put this flat with um, your tape runner or Tombow. I'm going to, this is not tacked down, so I can kind of tuck that under my knot right there. I'm looking at the dots to keep it straight. And then our little tools. Let's try. Oh my gosh, I thought, did I lose that? So, not only can you two-step stamp most of these, there are dies where you can just do part of it with another kind of cardstock. In this case, I went back to that holographic paper because I just really like the bling blinginess, is, for lack of a better word, for even the masculine cards I do. As I said, I do use a little bling on them. I think the easiest thing for this card, actually, for adhesive would be to stick on mini glue, or, um, yeah, mini glue dots, of which I can't see them. So, I'm so organized when I start my Facebook Live, and then, like, by the third card, I can't find anything. <laughs> I'm not great at putting things back in the same place where I store them. I just lay them out on my desk. Well then, for Facebook Live, that doesn't work the best because then I can't find them. So there's that. Now, again, I wanted to show you all the things that these dies do. So this little tiny die has embossing in it that shows you where the inches are and the half inches and all that. So let's grab our Tombow again. And we'll just put a little bit of Tombow on this little guy. And then I think I'm going to grab my tool for this one. Now, the, the Take Your Pick tool has this putty end on it. And I usually just kind of smash that down a little bit. So it gives me, oops, so it gives me an easier way to control what I'm working on. I'm just going to take that. To get a hold of it and then well I'll lay it down here first it doesn't look like maybe I need my tool for this part of it so that's okay just kind of get this match this up can you see that I'm just matching it up down there with the stamped image so then you have those little details now if you don't like putziness, you can just stamp your images. You could even stamp them all in one color and put them on your card. We could have stamped this all in um, copper clay and die cut them. And that would have made this faster and easier. But if you want to use all the dies and use everything up, oh, but I, now I am going to have glue on my... I think this is this, so it's go like this. And I think that because this little jagged end, like, you know, the edge of the pencil, I hope, hopefully you can see that. I haven't actually used this die yet, but I'm pretty sure that's where it belongs. And my focus for today's class was to show you where all these dies go. Hopefully. That was my main point in showing you all these things. All right, so we're going to go ahead. Let's put our pencil down first. There are adhesives in the annual catalog that are these skinny ones. They're called, what are they called? Uh, foam adhesive strips. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that. Not a whole long piece, but I'm just going to cut off part of it. So hopefully you're getting some tips on these dies 
And also some inspiration for masculine cards, hopefully. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stretch this the length of my pencil, like so. Then I'm gonna put my pencil down first, actually, and it's gonna go kind of across like this. Then I'm gonna take my wrench, and my wrench, I'm going to put dimensionals on the, whoops, on the back of my top of it and the bottom of it because the middle is going to go across that pencil. So I'm wanting to not put dimensionals on top of dimensionals. So I'm leaving this blank because there's, there's dimensional here. I'm going to, I'm not going to push that down yet because I want to kind of see where my tape measure is going to go and he's kind of going to go, I want this a little bit more like that and my tape measure is going to go like that. So I kind of want these to crisp all touch each other someplace on my design because I like to group my focal points. <clears throat> I like things to look like they're meant to be together. So now I can go ahead and push this down, that dimensional. Then we go like that. There we go. There's another easy card. And again, this template, if you don't have this stamp set, you can easily use this template uh, for what you do have and what you already are wanting to use in your own stash of products. I'm going to go back to gold dots on these. I have loved these festive pearls. They have been one of my favorite embellishments. Um, as I said, first of all, they have gold and silver. Secondly, they have red. Maybe first of all, red, because we don't have anything right now that's red in gems. So there we go. There's that one. Let me check the comments to see if you have, if you're sharing or you have questions. Just want to make sure I don't miss anything live. Um, looks like looks like my comments haven't refreshed, but that's okay. My screen is spinning, so sometimes it does that, and then I can't see what you're commenting on. But I'll be back. So, all right, so Kathy uses Sanford all the time. Um, Putsy is the greatest. I love the car. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Diane. To me, the bling on the toolbox are rivets. Rivets! Kathy, that's it. Awesome. No, I, I couldn't think of the name of it. It's, you know, as I said, I'm not crafty with tools. I'm crafty with stamps. <laughs> all right, my friends. I'm so happy you're doing it. I have one more card for you today because we're making four cards. This is going to be a fast and very quick card. Um, let's get out all the bits and pieces for this card. And then we will go ahead and do the last card for today. So again, in your kit... When you put in an order, so all your card kits will come just like this, although they obviously won't have the finished card, but they come with all the bits and pieces in the envelope. Any scrap paper that you need will be in the envelope. So this would have a piece of white scrap paper. Um, I'll have this cup for you because it's part of the, um, the card that is not in the bundle. And then this is the card we're making, so we'll go ahead and make this quick. This is going to be very fast. So... This is a very fun fold card that you can use and make a wow card in no time. So let me show you how I did this. The stamping on this, we're gonna take our Memento Black and we're gonna stamp these adorable little nuts and bolts. I just love this stamp. And I'm gonna have it kind of go in the corner like this. Now, I will show you on this card. This card is gonna go to my brother um, I did specifically stamp this for him because I used You're the Most Awesome again, and then I used this little stamp set 
that is retiring. And this is discounted, but I don't have the discounted price on it. It's called Alpha Best, and it has all of our, obviously all of our alphabet. It has numbers, has cute little flower. If you speak other languages, it has those uh, vowels as well. And then it has this cute little um, backgrounds for the stamps. This has a matching punch that is this same shape and it's called alpha best and the bundle price was 38 but it's on sale right now so it's not 38 if you go to my online store you can get this card for get this sorry can't talk this bundle for much less than that i don't remember the percentage off for this particular card but it's much cheaper than retail right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the inside of my card. Now you can tell that this card is not five and a half by eight and a half. It is five and a half by seven and a half. I still scored it at four and a quarter. And the fun part of this card is I got this idea from a swap card that I got from another demonstrator so this is not very fancy on the front but what we're going to do is use two different types of designer paper two different designs and i'm going to put this one on first this is two by five and a quarter and then we're going to well hang on here before i put that down i'm just gonna, i think i'll do this piece first this piece is a coordinating piece of designer paper one by five and a quarter like so and i'm putting this one down first just to make sure i have the spacing going good and there we go yeah so two by five and a quarter for the larger piece and then one by five and a quarter for the smaller piece Hi Cheryl, my helper just came and she's going over to see Teddy because he loves her. All right, now let's go ahead and keep going. This is a pretty easy card. We're gonna go ahead and stamp the greeting. And as I said, this is for my, my brother. So I did not use dad on the inside, but you could make a card that said, you're the most awesome dad. Doesn't have to be your dad, it could be any dad for father's day a son a brother a son-in-law there we go and as i said this is a quick and easy card i already do have this stamped we'll go ahead and go back to our filler stamp for this guy this ranch and i really like this card with um lost lagoon which I did have out, didn't I? I had it, I had it, here it is. As I said, by the end of Facebook Live, everything is like scattered everywhere. <laughs> so we're gonna take Lost Lagoon. I've already stamped this and die cut it in. I stamped it in Memento Black on basic white and then just going to fill in with Lost Lagoon. But this is a quick and easy fun fold as well as the other one that we made today that doesn't take any time but it has a little pizzazz on it because it has um something a little bit different on the front so now in order to get this little flagged edge where i want it this die is also from the stylish shapes dies i was talking to you earlier our first card used one of the circle dies from the stylish shapes dies and this uses one of the label the flagged label dies from that same set i don't want my dimensional too far this way because i don't want it to adhere to my paper well adhere to the inside of my card so we're just gonna go ahead and put this here. Then this guy, we're just gonna stick him on the edge here. And I think I will use mini dimensionals for this guy. And again, I don't have these colored. You could color them all the way through. On You could color all your tools. You don't need those filler dies, but since they are two steps, oh, I might've should've, 
Might have should have put my dimensionals here to make sure I'm not getting dimensionals down here. So we'll choose like so on that guy. Yeah, that's good. And then we'll take some twine. For this card, I use this group of twine, the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. This is staying. This is not retiring, so it's not on sale. But it is a good pack to have in your arsenal just for when you need something that's more neutral. Whoops. Let's try and tie that again. So we'll go with our loop like so. Then we'll wrap around again like so. And then we'll push through. <laughs> Can you hear Teddy fuzzing? He wants Cheryl to pick him up or pet him or pay attention to him. <laughs> They're friends. So he gets excited when she comes to help me. Okay, now we're going to take our... Oh, that's right. I kind of lost our mini glue dots. Here they are. So I couldn't find them earlier. I'm going to stick this right on, squeeze with my thumb and forefinger, and I'm going to put this on. Now, I'm not going to put brother on this one and take the time. Besides, I'm not going to give him two of the, my own brother, two of the same card. But I will put something else inside there. Obviously, you're the most awesome. Or I could just even leave it like that. You're the most awesome. So, did I put gems on this? I'm just trying to see. Oh, yes, I put some gems on this one, too. And for this one, I used those kind of light green gems on the card where I was saying it kind of looks like pool party, although that's not the color that they say it is when you look at the colors. But they're so versatile. I love these gems. I'm really sad to see them go, but I'll just go like so. We get a little bit of bling on there. So there are our four cards. You will get all the supplies to make one each of these cards, not two this week. When I make three cards, you get two of each. When I make four, you get one of each. But these are our cards made with the trusty tools. I hope you got some ideas for these, uh, this stamp set and these dies. Or if you don't have them, um, I hope you got some ideas and so some general templates that you could use for the things you do own and use. Let me bring you up to thank you for coming today. Thanks so much for spending your time with me today. I know I value your time and I am thrilled that you spend some time with me. Thank you for the hearts that are coming. You can see Cheryl back there. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for the hearts. Thank you for spending time with me. Um, if you need any help, don't, don't hesitate to contact me or message me. I'm ha happy to help you in any way I can. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.